Hey guys, John Day here from Artist Strength and Fitness. Um, I've been doing a lot of personal training lately. I've been doing a lot of talks with some people. And I think the biggest hurdle for a lot of people, um, especially as we get you know past the age of 30, 40, 50 years old, uh, we start getting up there. Um, a lot of people, why they either stop working out or they hesitate to begin working out um, is because of the aches and pains of their daily life, of their job, of previous injuries. Um, whatever that may be again, you know, everybody's got you know There's tons of people that have either wrist issues shoulder issues back hip knee whatever it may be um, And I hear a lot of people as I introduce myself to them and start talking to them a little bit and just try to get themselves to um, You know commit to some health and fitness goals. Uh, I get a lot of them. They're like yeah I just don't work out because I have bad knees or I just don't work out because I have a bad shoulder You know my back is constantly hurting me so I don't work out and I hear this all the time. Um, and we've got to overcome those hurdles. Uh, this is the thing that we, that we really try to talk to people about is that no matter your situation, uh, we must be working out in some fashion, all right? Um, does that mean working out with heavy weights and, and doing some crazy stuff? No, not at all. Uh, we keep things basic here. You know, We keep things in a realm that fits your needs. Uh, if we have bad knees, um, are you going to be bending down and standing up and moving around in your daily life? Yeah, for sure. So we're going to try to replicate that in the gym uh, in a safe, controlled environment. All right, we're not going to do anything crazy. We're not going to do anything to hurt you because that's not the point of being in a gym. And so that, that uh, uh, the intimidation of, of working out and, and think that you're going to hurt yourself because you already have previous injuries, um, it needs to be something that needs to be assessed by a professional. Um, and that's why we're here. Um, I've dealt with people that have had complete knee duns. I've had rotator cuff surgeries pre and post, uh, ACLs, low backs, you know, um, you know, all the above. And we found a way to work out, all right, because we've got to make it better, all right, um, or we just can't let it go, get worse, all right. That's another big thing is that if you do nothing, it'll just get worse. It's not just going to stay there and just, you know, be the same old pain. It'll get worse on you. All right, if we have a bad back, it'll just get worse if we don't do anything about it. So that's why the emphasis of, of flexibility, correct range of motion, um, correct eating habits because of the uh, uh, inflammatory responses to certain foods that, that we have can cause a lot of joint pains and cause a lot of injuries and, and doesn't allow my body to recover efficiently. And so that's why we do a lot of like health and wellness assessments with people is that we really wanna make sure that you're getting enough sleep, that you're eating well, uh, that you're taking your, your, your taking care of your body uh, um, appropriately outside of the gym, uh, because you just can't come in the gym, work hard for an hour, and then expect the rest of the day to be uh, um, the best. All right, if you're not focusing on the other 23 hours, um, if we're not getting the the adequate amount of sleep, if we're not eating right, you know, again, you've got 23 hours the rest of your day that you could really mess up the hour of work that you did uh, and that you're trying to progress. So. Um, don't let those hesitations, don't let those things limit you because you, because in, we can always find a way to work out. All right, I have a lot of people that row because they can't run. I have a lot of people that squat to a box because they can't squat to full depth yet. Um, I have a lot of people that use dumbbells and bands and PVC pipes and things like that because they don't have great shoulder range of motion and so we're trying to accomplish that. And so our goal is to increase the quality aspect of our life uh, and not worry about the quantity of, of how much we're working out, how much reps we're doing, how much weight we're doing. All right, those things can come secondary. So if you are an individual that have had that that currently has bad knees, bad back, bad shoulder, bad wrist, bad ankle, um, list it, name it. Um, don't let that stop you working out. All right, you have to find a professional, and that's why we're here. All right, if you've had a bad experience somewhere and you got hurt and you got things like that, that that can't be your only experience. All right, we want you stopping by here at Art of Strength and Fitness. And something that we can take a personal approach to you and know that you're being trained by professionals and people that actually care about you and your well-being outside the gym all right uh, we want to make sure that you're getting the most out of the inside the gym and that's where the high quality coaching comes in focusing on personalizing the, the workouts to you and making sure that you're getting the most out of it um, and not injuring yourself and not making things worse we want to make things better that's the whole goal of this is making things better and not making things worse. So don't be afraid of getting getting hurt because in here, we don't want you to do that either. All right, that's the last thing we want you to do. That's the last thing that we'll push you to do. We want you to stay comfortable. We want you to stay in your comfort zone. And then as we get more comfortable, all right, then we start kind of getting into that uncomfortable because that's where we have to make changes. All right, we have to be able to squat because you're gonna sit down on a chair. You're gonna have to get up off a chair, off a couch, go to the bathroom. All right, we're gonna have to put something up over our head. We're gonna have to pick something up. Maybe it could be our kids. Maybe it could be our grandkids. Maybe it could be grocery bags. 
whatever it may be, we have to do these daily activities. And if we can do them in a safe, controlled environment within the gym, all right, then you're gonna be stronger and much better off outside the gym and less likely for you to be injured. And so don't let those things hold you back, all right? I hear that all the time, all right? Next to time, all right, next to people not having enough time to work out, all right? Knees, shoulders, hips, back, wrists, all the above um, injuries or previous injuries, just aches and pains and things like that, all right? That's what holds a lot of people back. And so we can't let that hold us back anymore, all right? We have to make sure that we are moving well and it, it just, it's so important to the quality of your life, all right? You see so many people as they get older and they just can't do much anymore, all right? And, and, and I've seen that with personal experiences where they just can't do much anymore. You know, they're sedentary, they're dependent upon people, um, and we just, we don't want that in our life. You don't want that in your life. And so don't let that be your path. We've gotta do something about it. Find a trained professional. Find us, all right, at artiststrength.com. Um, I do a lot of personal training, so if you have an issue and you have something that you want specifically addressed, then let's do that, all right? Let's figure that out. Um, and if that leads you into our group classes, let's do that. I've done that with a lot with people, is that we, we assess, we make sure we're moving well, we make sure we kinda get that personal attention. Get into the group classes, you still get that personal attention. I know who you are, I know what's going on, I know what you need, and uh, our, our coaches know what you need, and we take that personal approach to a group style setting. So don't let those previous injuries, don't let those current injuries, um, or the fear of being injured hold you back, all right, because that is not what we do. That is not what we focus on. Um, and we focus on keeping you healthy. If that's previous injuries, current injury, or again, prehab type stuff, making sure that you're not getting injured. All right, because that's the last thing we want. All right, because uh, there's no reason for that. Here, we're working on progressing. We're working on being healthy and fit for our everyday life so we can function, so we can be happy, so we can do the things that we wanna do now. We can do the things that we wanna do 10 years from now, 20, 30, 40 years from now as well. So don't let those things hold you back. That's why we have this big Let's Try channel that we're gonna start posting a lot more videos to. All right, I'm gonna start putting together some of the scaled and modified and, and adjusted movement patterns, all right, to help you guys if you guys are on the fence about certain things, to show you there's so many different things that we can do, all right? Uh, I appreciate you taking the time. Again, we're gonna be putting out a lot more short videos of things that we can work on, all right, and things that we can do in the house, things that we do here for people, um, and all of the above. So. Um, hope we have a, a good day. Hopefully the, the weather's cooling down a little bit for everybody. All right, it gets a little warm in here, but uh, um, it's good. So uh, we'll, hope, uh, we'll hope you guys have a good one. All right, guys, bye. Just cut that.